Alright guys, I'm back. Um supposed to follow that hole probably. Alright, let's do it. Let's follow the hole. Follow the hole, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can do it. Oh yeah, they said that the- Oh, they said four pages were missing! I just realized! 
So they were talking about this. So, um, three... Six... Three, six, seven, and nine. So maybe, maybe that's the code. Three, six, seven, nine. Let me check. Because they said it was something with the book, and then that other page in the book said that four pages were missing, so maybe it was chapters. I think it was... Three... Oh, finally. Good. Good. Right. Well, sure, I'm glad he's not down there. Uh, let me go louder to talk to him then. Yep. 210. Oh, there's a knife here. Can I grab it for self-defense? No? Okay. Just not the smartest guy. Smells rotten. Smells rotten. Smells fresh. Smells fresh. Smells fresh. He does what she just said. Ooh. Beer. Beer, beer. Makes you makes you feel good inside. So what we're gonna get? Uh two ten. It's two ten. It's two ten, mate. She won't come back, so I have to forget everything good and bad. Uh, my head hurts. Ow. Ow. Whew, it settled down. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't spent much. So he burned this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? <laughs> Do that. I'm not tired. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. <gasps> Sissy! Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are a lot of rooms I can't go in, so it might be in one of those. Why? What? I mean, what's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Well, I am a white guy. Oh, it's nothing. But sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you should go. Look, I don't like scary dark places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Sorry, I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Careful, sweet cheeks, wink.
die. He ran away. Whew. What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now where can I look? I saw a knife in the basement. I remember a knife in the basement. Let's go there, David. Let's go there, David. My grandfather's was too large for the shelf. So it stood 90 years on the floor. Alright, knife. Knife. I know, I'm already going to use it. Freaking idiot. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. Blood? This was in here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? I'd better look for her. Let's just follow the blood trail. Let's follow it. I'm sure it's So I can at least try to wrap it up. So where did the blood go? I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't it hurt? It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. I like the rest. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that, I mean... It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my box, able or all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? The guy could be a boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Oh, she's free game! Huh? He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness. But when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. Yeah, you are. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Wow, women hating women? That is so wrong. I'm sorry. I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Found a key to somewhere. Thanks. I mean, thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm, I'm going. Bye. Bye, says A. Bye. <laughs> Why are you always like this, David? Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. I feel the pain, but I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. That, that what should I do? You don't trust me. Is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we could talk this out. You were my first. Shirley! <laughs> Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Time timidly refusing to forget. The 
moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Tiffany found that word too. Alright, let's see what's open. She gave me a key, didn't she? I just realized. She gave me a key or something. Uh, I should probably get this done. Maybe it's downstairs where I should go. Yeah! Beautiful! Something from a fountain. <gasps> it's her box! Ah, a box! Maybe this is the one Sissy loves. It must be. It's decorated with ruby. Did someone throw it away in here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll give this to Sissy pronto. Got Sissy's box. All right. Thanks to Sissy. I'm such a nice guy. I am such a nice guy. It's a it's a wonder that my girlfriend left me. I mean, I'm so I'm such a nice guy. I am such a nice guy. I am such, such a nice guy. I am so kind. Sissy. You didn't die on me, did you, sissy? God damn it, she left. Huh? Did sissy leave? Oh, she's wounded. God damn it, sissy. Sissy?
are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it'll chase us anymore. Never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm not hurt, but I didn't ask if you were hurt. Sissy? What's wrong, are you sick? <sighs> sick in love. Why did, why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did a monster attack me? Ah! I, I just didn't want to forget him. I just want to have my memory of him. Ah! Is it because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can I, can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Somebody, somebody help. What? Sissy. Please do okay. Let's try with being a wimp. feel like or I mean, you may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him but is that such a bad thing David I was dumped a few months ago too I was sure we were going to get married you too I was dejected even for now it still pains me I don't think I could truly forget it I've always hated how I was such a coward I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of the same person. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I decided I wouldn't give up either, and it's thanks to you, Sissy. Thank you. This is your treasure, right? It's quite the box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you'll love will understand. And I know I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Uh... Hey, David. Did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. It's strange. The box needs a key. The box needs a key to open, so though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. Ha, <laughs> no, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What really? Uh, I picked it up around here. Did you? It came from my house over in Sissy's box. So the former tenants were involved with the box? What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh god, there's gonna be like a freaking hand in there or something. Oh, thank god. Oh? I mean, oh, there's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it, but I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going... I mean, are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. Bye, Sissy. Wait, where are you following me? I'll escort you home, Sissy. It's dark out, after all. I mean, I told you to go there. I'm worried. I'll be alright. Thanks, so, David. Well... Wait, no kiss? No kiss? Oh, there you go. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. That surprised me. <laughs> no way, a girl gonna kiss you before. But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself after I get up the fire, but. Lingering scent of dreams. Is that where he is? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Till I see him, I'll go anywhere. The end. Scene one Hotel Ruhen Ruhenheim, Sissy. End. Summer 4. Um, I'm gonna stop this episode here. Thanks for watching.